Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your first tutorial in Intermediate Algebra. I wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction here before I start the first lesson. And the introduction is basically, I'm going to design this playlist for somebody who has a little bit of high school math experience, but maybe not quite ready to start college algebra. So this playlist is going to be, going to be designed for that person in mind. I'm going to try to provide you guys with enough material and enough examples that if you're maybe not quite ready to start college algebra, my hope is that after watching the tutorials in this playlist, you should be ready for college algebra. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the very first lesson. It'll be pretty simple, but it's important. And it's basically, we're going to talk about three different types of numbers. We're going to talk about the natural numbers. Natural, <laughs> your role, sorry. Natural numbers, the whole numbers and the integers. And the natural numbers are basically numbers that you count with. And so that would be 1, 2, 3, and so on. And one other thing that's really important in algebra is the idea of a number line. And this number line, if we were doing a number line for the natural numbers, is going to start with the number 1. The number you start with goes on the left here. And over here on the right, I'm just going to draw an infinity sign. So infinity means it doesn't really have an end. We can't stop this number line somewhere. There's always another number that we can add on to it. And so that's what infinity kind of means. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a tick mark every so often. And these tick marks are evenly spaced, and they represent the next number. So this would be the number 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. And so with a number line like this, we can represent all of the natural numbers. Now the whole numbers are the same as the natural numbers, except for they also include the addition of the number 0. So 0 doesn't fit on this number line, so to create a number line for the whole numbers, you simply need to extend it one unit to the left. And now we have our 0 there, and we have a number line for the whole numbers. And the last type of number that I want to talk about is the integer. Now, integers include all the same numbers as the whole numbers, but they also include the negatives of the natural numbers. So we can have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And to create a number line for integers, we can simply use this same number line we already have for the whole numbers and then just extend it off to the left. And we'll just draw a little arrow here and a minus infinity, meaning that it goes in the negative direction forever. It doesn't really have an endpoint, but it just keeps on going. And then we can put our little tick marks here. So this would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And so there you go. There's your first lesson in intermediate algebra. Um, this is a really important concept to know as we go deeper into algebra and really start learning how to work with variables and things like that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for lesson two. It'll be something really interesting and important as well. So stay tuned for that and uh, don't forget to subscribe.